Okay, so we're gonna start this lab, the um, redox titration lab, by cleaning our burette. Um, so it's like we did in the patat, the KSP lab. You want to clean it five times with the distilled water, about five milliliters each, five to ten milliliters each time. Do that five times. Then you want to clean it with what you're titrating with. In this case, that's going to be the potassium permanganate. So we're gonna wash it with water and then potassium permanganate. So I'm gonna have my waste container close by. So I'm gonna put all these washes in there. Remember that each of these washes should also go through the tip of the burette. Okay, so I finished cleaning it with the water. So now I want to also clean it with the um, thing I'm titrating with so that we don't use diluted solution while we titrate. Um, so I'm going to titrate that with the potassium permanganate. Um, remember that you don't want to pour anything above your head, so I'm lowering it off the side of the table. Also, I don't have a squirt bottle for the potassium permanganate, um, so I'm going to pour this into a smaller container uh, and then use a funnel to put it into my burette. But I'm going to uh, clean it with this potassium permanganate um, five times just like I did with the water. Uh, in today's lab, when you are handling the potassium permanganate and the uh, sulfuric acid, you want to be really careful. Um, gloves would be a good idea. Um, so just putting on gloves before I handle that potassium permanganate. Also, for extra safety, you could wear a lab coat or uh, long sleeves. It's kind of hot in here. That's why I have short sleeves on today. Um, so I'm just going to use a little bit of this. Um, remember when you're cleaning, it doesn't need to be a lot, between 5 to 10 milliliters, because whatever you've poured out of the brown bottle has to go into the waste container. Um, so you just want to be mindful of how much you're using. You don't want to waste a lot of it. Um, always remember to check the stopcock as well, so it's not going to um, come out of the burette. So we are cleaning this burette with our potassium permanganate now. You'll notice that this potassium permanganate is a bright purple color. These washes, just like the ones with water, also go through the tip of the burette. And we're doing this five times. Okay, so now our burette has been cleaned. Um, so it's ready to fill to be tight for the titrations. So I'm going to fill it all the way up to the close to the zero mark this time. And then um, instead of taking the initial volume immediately, I'm going to let this kind of settle. Um, some of that potassium permanganate kind of sticks to the sides of the um, burette here. So I'm just going to let it have a few minutes to settle before I read that uh, initial volume. Um, while I'm waiting, I can prep the samples for um, to titrate. Okay, so I'm just gonna set my burette aside while I wait for um, that potassium permanganate to settle, and then you can take the initial volume. So while we're waiting, we will prep the samples. So moving on to part B is where the titrations start happening. So in part B, we're going to titrate a sample of sodium, sodium oxalate. Um, so we know how much sodium oxalate you used. Uh, so you can see the PowerPoint for how to calculate the exact amount of um, sodium oxalate that you're using. So we're going to dilute those and dissolve those in a solution of sulfuric acid. So we'll do that next. So we're going to dilute this and dissolve this in about 170 milliliters of our sulfuric acid. Um, this does not have to be a super exact amount. Um, but, so I'm just going to use the markings on the beaker. But this is changed from the procedure. So you're using about 170. I'm gonna go ahead and add my acid to the other two um, trials for part B. Uh, and again, you can calculate how much sodium oxalate has been used um, from the information in the PowerPoint. When I add the acid to um, my beaker that has my uh, oxalate in it, I'm also gonna add a stir bar. So once our first titration is finished, we can start heating up the next uh, sample. 